l'Islam e l'immigrazione, quindi non è una minaccia al progetto europeo. I think it's very important that we see the migration is a problem not only for Europe, it's a, it's a problem in the world. And we are looking first to the people who are hungry, who are refugees, who are poor, not on the religion. The religion is not the first point. That is not possible. No? We are looking on the human beings. Every human being is image of God. That's our common conviction. And so we have to, to work on it, to, 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 to work in our societies, but also, and that's very important, to look that the reasons for the migration will, uh, will uh, disappear, so that we help also the countries where, the, where the, those people come from, not only uh, to, to think in the categories of security for us, that's important, but not the only point. We have to make more that our world is better also for, for those Uh, who are poor and who are uh, uh, migrants. Right. Okay. Uh, Deborah Castellanos, uh, Lubav Zenit, Lidiziani Inglesi. Hasta Asbergo, el Papa aveva esortato Europa di essere un madre in vice di una nonna. Uh, secondo lei, Eminenza, um, Europa sta raccogliendo questo appello? I think the Pope wanted to underline with this image, he wanted to underline Europe, think about the future. And life is future. And we are a, a pro-life continent. You must be a pro-life continent. But those, not only the question of abortion and, and dignity of life in the beginning, at the end of the, of, the, of the human biography, but the attitude you have to be positive to life And I think he wanted to underline this, and I think that's good for Europe, not thinking uh, of the past, thinking categories of security and walls, but thinking in opportunities, in possibilities, in future. That's the spirit uh, the Pope wanted uh, from Europe. Thank you. Sí, Daniel Arasa. Me ha parlato de la immigrazione come una sfida. El Congreso pues, presenta la propuesta de la Chiesa para esta esfera, para otras. ¿Cómo espera que algún país europeo de mayoranza católica, de tradición católica, sea no así resistente a la vuelta a la inmigración? Hablo de Polonia, Eslovaquia, aunque en caso Hungría, etc. ¿Cómo se capisce este problema? As a bishop of, of Germany, I have not to judge uh, the others, but our position is very clear. And I, I always said I have five points. And that are uh, that are very important for for looking as a Christian and, and also in the social doctrine to these uh, to these uh, 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 challenges. That's every everyone who is coming to our border. That's the European border. Will treat it. Will be treated in a in a human way. He will have a fair processes to clear up his situation. We will not send someone back in the situation of war and persecution. No one. We will do everything to stop the situation of death in the Mediterranean Sea or on the borders. That's not so easy. We have seen it now in the camps in North Africa. We are not happy about it. But the line must be to, 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 to encourage the politicians to search ways that uh, the border of Europe is not a border of death. That's not acceptable. And the fifth point is to, to, to look on the situation of the countries where the people come from, from the, where the migrants come from. What are we doing to help them to, to develop the societies? What are we doing what are we, also in the question of finances? Not only finances, but also in the political vision about migration. Not only see what's about us, what's about the people. That's the vision of Jesus, not to say what is my future, only, but what is his future, the future of this migrant? And I think these five points are very clear, and I underline them, and I think that uh, the, must be the common sense of the Christian social doctrine in this question. Yes. Yes.